Hello, welcome to 2024 on my grandpa's train YouTube channel. I just want to give a very short overview, hopefully it's short, of projects I have coming up this year. Um, there's a lot of things to do on my American Flyer layout and even more than that on my HO scale layout. I am very quickly approaching 1000 subscribers and I'm hoping to try to make a video on this engine right here. This is my grandpa's train and I want to tell you the story about that when I hit 1000 subscribers. Not sure I'll have it produced by then because I'm getting there pretty quickly. Um, there's a lot of accessory videos that I made last December for my Christmas layout and many, not all, of them will be moving down to find permanent homes on my layout here. I have already installed the pink Plasticville Ranch House and I'm going to be installing some accessories um, over in this section where I have uh, sidings and freight yard area. I'm also going to be working on building my own operating water tower that's a little bit closer to scale. This is an HO scale water tower. This is a plastic water, Plasticville water tower. I think it's HO scale. This is a project that a friend of mine 3D printed and it's supposed to be a little bit closer to American Flyer S scale. So all of this has been 3D printed. It's a little bit rough, so I'm going to be sanding it down and painting it. We'll see how that works. Of course, you know that the American Flyer towers are closer to standard gauge and stand about that tall, where my hand is, is the top of it. It's huge. So I'd like something that's a little closer to scale. I also have a lot of three rail projects, um, specifically pre-war American Flyer coming up. You'll be seeing some of that coming up soon in my very next video, what's coming down the line for that. I also have a lot of American Flyer S gauge steam engine projects to restore, and as well as diesel locomotives. I have the Mystic Talking Station to restore, and then I have all the electrical work to do underneath. I want to hook up lights in all of the buildings and um, hook up the operating accessories when they get moved down here. Now let's take a look at what's coming up for my HO scale layout. Similar projects for the HO scale layout. Um, I have lots of locomotives to restore and the similar amount of electrical wiring to do underneath. Uh, I still haven't gotten this rotating beacon to work. It's made by Lionel, but it's an HO scale. I have an interest in collecting both S scale and HO scale uh, American Flyer pieces. As you can see here, I have a Gilbert S scale shell, Alco PA diesel, and this one is actually not an Athern. I did a video of this quite a while ago where I custom painted a silver streak in HO scale. I think it turned out pretty good. Now all I have to do is find this exact locomotive in S scale so I have a match set. The same is true for these 060 steam engines. This one is the 31004. Uh, 060 Gilbert in HO scale and it works great it runs makes lots of smoke except it needs new traction tires because one of them has a chunk out of it so it bounces down the track this uh, 21004 six wheeled locomotive is pretty much the exact same thing in full size S scale and um, needs a complete overhaul and uh, restoration of the motor and mechanisms to make it work again What's interesting to me is these are nearly identical locomotives, but the HO scale one is completely die cast. The engine itself is die cast, the tender is die cast, but not the um, S scale. This is all plastic, all plastic. Both of them, however, manage to fit smoke and choo choo. The only thing the HO one doesn't have is a, head, a working headlight, but the S scale has a working headlight, smoke and choo choo. So that is just a taste of projects coming up on my grandpa's train. Um, there's lots more, so stay tuned. I'm nearly to 1,000 subscribers. I have um, some hobby town locomotives that I'm going to try to resurrect and bring back to life. Some Athern stuff, some modern stuff, more childhood trains. And uh, it's uh, going to be a really busy year on this channel. So if you aren't subscribed already, please try to do that. And 
leave a like and a comment. And as always, thanks for watching. See you soon on My Grandpa's Train.